Hi, this is Scott Hendricks, and today I want to talk to you about service validation. This is a feature that's been available in CAD MEP since 2013, but I got the feeling that not many people are using it. So what I've what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate it, and I've also set up a tool palette uh, that I'll make available to you that will uh, make using this tool a little bit easier. So in this model right here, I have all kinds of issues. I have connector mismatches, collisions, duplicate items, size mismatches. And all of these things can be located using the service validation tools inside of fabrication. Uh, so let's locate them and show you some of the tools that we have here. First, we're going we're gonna to open up these items in the Fab Viewer. And once in the Fab Viewer, you may have to turn on some tools. If you right click and go to Tools, we want to turn on the workspace if it's not already on. So this area over here is your workspace. And when you first open it, you'll see that under eLinks, we have the current job. And if you right click on that current job, you have the option to check for connectivity, check for duplicates, do a collision check, or my favorite here at the top, we'll check everything all at once in one report. So we'll hit the check button there and it will automatically give it a name and tells me some of the problems that it found. When we hit OK, it will be added down here to our list of reports. And inside of our viewer, we can see that it's marked some of these issues. And you can even right click on these issues, go to, and it'll take you right to those issues. One of the problems that I have in here is I can't fix the issues in here. I can only view them. So I'm going to just close this out. And then I'm going to hit the next button on my palette, which is validation markers. And all that does is run the command job collisions. And in here, it'll have that same list of issues, but we have this checkbox for marking those collisions. And if we have the right um, AutoCAD blocks in our drawing, then it will put those blocks on each of those issues. You can see here that I got open ends. If we forgot to put caps on or close our system, then it's going to mark those with the open ends. Uh, we got a size mismatch here. Uh, connector mismatch, collisions, and duplicates. So this can be a quick way to find all of these issues. Now I've added a couple more uh, buttons here. If I'm not finished with the system, then I may not care about the open ends and I can, with that button, just delete all my open end uh, markers. And we've got a button down here to fix mismatch connections. So up here, I have a connector mismatch and if I click on that, then we can see that I have a beveled end pipe going into a Victaulic coupling. So this will allow us right here to come in and change this to a grooved and solve that connector mismatch. Uh, we have a duplicate over here. If I move this top one, we'll see we got a duplicate, so I'll delete that. So we solved a couple of the issues, and we can delete all our markers and in our Fab Viewer run our report again. Once you get into your report, it saves your or get into the Fab Viewer, it saves your reports here, and we can rerun that by hitting this button here. So a rerun, and we can see what's been fixed 
and what's left unresolved. So we can mark them again to see what still has been left unresolved. So that's our service validation and our tool palette for running it. I'll make that available. There'll be a download link in the blog post here. I hope this helps you out and saves you some time and money. Thanks a lot. Bye.